this video, I want to show you how you can take advantage of the REST API in order to do more things within your Power BI service. We're going to look at the easiest way to try them out and also how you can start triggering them using commandlets. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions of World YouTube channel where we focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. For those of you that don't know much about REST APIs, don't be alarmed with this terminology. It's just a protocol that allows you to send commands to systems within the web. Maybe you want to get data from them or maybe you want to send a command for them to do something. And REST APIs are sort of standard protocols across the web. So it's not just for Power BI service. But in this context, we're only looking at using REST APIs within the Power BI service context. In order to get started, we need to look at the documentation that the Microsoft team has provided us with. So here, this documentation, I will leave a link for this in the description box below, is the list of REST API commands that you can use to interact with your Power BI service. So on the left hand side here, you have the list uh, grouping the different types of commands that you can use on the different aspects. So let's say, for example, you want to do things with the data sets themselves. So if we expand here in the data sets, you can see the different types of commands that you can do to work with the data sets within your service. So maybe you want to just get the list of the data sets. Maybe you want to get the refresh history for a specific data set. Maybe you want to refresh a data set, which we'll look at in a second. They're all here um, and you can start exploring at how you can use them from here. So let's have a look at one of these REST APIs just to see how they work. Um, so let's say we want to get the data sets in our service. So we want to click on this get data sets and it gives you some information about how to use this API itself. So it gives you the kind of syntax of how you can send that request and what kind of response you can get and the kind of sample response and also some more definitions about uh, different aspects for this REST API. Before we go ahead with the demo, I want to show you the space that we are working with. This is the Power BI service for the solutions abroad. And here in my workspace is a collection of reports and data sets that we can use to test uh, to use REST API with. So now let's go back to this documentation, right? So here it says to us that uh, when you use this REST API, it returns a list of data sets from my workspace. So what I showed you earlier, um, but except it's just the data sets. And you can see that the syntax is here, the response is here, and this is the type of response that you get. It's a kind of JSON formatted data with some information about the data sets that you have. And what's really great about this documentation is you have this button, the try it button, which lets you try out these uh, REST APIs without having to do anything else beyond signing in. So if you click that, we just sign in really quickly. So now that we're signed in, we can try running it and you'll see that it's okay. So it's 200 and here in the body is the list of data sets that we have in our workspace. So if you remember, we had the bookmarks, we had the different stuff like grocery sales, the levers, um, things like this, all the data sets that we have in the workspace, my workspace. So we'll look for the grocery sales and I will copy this ID here and you'll understand why I'm doing this in a second. But for now, we'll just keep this in my notepad and we'll forget about it. So that's a very simple example of how you can use REST APIs, but you're probably thinking to yourself, why should I use it in the first place? So now that we can send commands to do things within the Power BI service, we can, in theory, create multiple commands in order to do bulk operations that normally would take time if you just did it within the Power BI service yourself. The second thing is integration with other apps. So because these commands are tied in a code, it means that you can integrate it with other apps that can utilize REST API calls in order to do things in Power BI service within those apps. So for example, maybe you want to create a custom app to refresh your data sets with a click of a button. Your apps can now use the REST APIs in order to trigger those refreshes with a click of a button. Now there is a challenge when using with admin APIs in the fact that it's a lengthy process to set it up and get the right permission and it's this process can become too cumbersome for new developers so this is why I'm showing you this try it version because it's the easiest way to show you how these API's work without the cumbersome 
element of setting up an app. Another way that you can interact with admin APIs without setting up and registering apps is through commandlets. So this part of the video is a continuation to my previous video where I introduce you how to use uh, commandlets with Power BI. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. So if you've seen that video, we have this documentation where you can set up the commandlets uh, along with the uh, different commands that you can use. There is a method here called invoke Power BI REST method, and it does exactly what you think. It executes the REST call that you have within the Power BI service, and you can attach URL and bodies in order to use it. So if we look at the example here, you can see that uh, it's a PowerShell script where you invoke the REST method, you type the endpoint that you want to use, and the type of method that you want either get or post. So let's go to PowerShell and see how we can use this. So if we go to PowerShell ISC, and we'll start with a, an empty one, we'll log in to our Power BI. And so now that we're logged in, we don't need to log in anymore. Uh, let's go back to our REST API calls here, and let's have a try at something really interesting. So. Remember we talked about refreshing a data set through the admin uh, REST API. If we go here, um, and you can see it here, so we can use this to trigger a refresh for one of our data sets. So it says that we need to send a post method, and this is the URL. We need to specify the data set's ID uh, in order to refresh this, uh, this data set. So if you remember this URL that we sent, we, we saved here, this is the GUID for one of our data sets, Grocery Sales Analysis. And just to remind you which one this is, it's this one, it's the Grocery Sales um, data sets. If we look at the uh, scheduled refresh history of this, we only have one, which was a couple of days ago. Right. And we want to trigger a refresh for, um, for this data set. And as you notice, the data set here that we saved is the same as the data set here that is showing in the uh, web URL. So you know for sure that we, this is the one that we, can, uh, that we will trigger. So let's go back to this here. So we can use try it, but we'll try to use this uh, or, or send this command via PowerShell commandlets. So what we'll do, we'll need to first copy the invoke method here, just to make it easier. We'll go to our commandlets, paste it there. Um, we'll replace this one with our refresh, uh, refresh data set. So we'll go back to our uh, REST API method. We'll copy everything else after the myorg. Go back to the commandlets. We'll replace the groups here with this one. You notice it asks for dataset ID. We need to replace that with the dataset ID that we copied earlier. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to change this to post because as you remember, we want to post the command to refresh the data sets. So now that that's done, let's give it a shot. So let's highlight that and execute it. So it's saying it's giving us a warning, but this should have refreshed that data set. So if we go back here and let's hit, just refresh this view here and let's click again the refresh history. So now you can see it now has the refresh for just now. So it took about four seconds and it's, uh, it's happened when we hit that command let REST API. So let's try calling another REST API just to see a different kind of response that we can get, right? So here, this uh, REST API allows us to get the refresh history of a data set. And you'll see that it's the exact same format of the URL that we can use, except that it's a get uh, method. So if we do the, again, the same thing, except we replace the get, so instead of triggering a refresh for the data set, we instead want to get the refresh history for this data set. So we'll uh, invoke that. And you'll see here, it gives you the two refresh history that we have uh, so far. And you'll see both of them were triggered via REST API when they were invoked, when they were completed. 
So this is the type of information that you can get. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using REST APIs for your Power BI service. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section below so I can help you and you can help others. If you enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.